What's up good people, hope you guys are doing great, hope you are doing fantastic. So I finally got my Coyotes mask yesterday and it got me a little bit nervous because of some of the bugs and situations going on in the game right now. Now a quick advice to anyone out there, don't go to the dark zone if you are about to reach level 35. Typically because the DZ XP isn't supposed to be working for season pass till they fix it, but sometimes you get that seasonal XP and you can get your rewards while in the DZ. For some weird reason, mine kicked in yesterday and my mask was in one of them. It didn't go straight into my inventory, it went into my DZ stash. I was also in Occupied and I saw that a lot of people were going rogue from every single angle so I ended up just turning off the game and then relaunching the game when I knew that the servers will be in a downtime. I also had to do a solo extraction, give up DZ right now massive really needs to fix it it's not acceptable at all now if you get killed with your season cash in the dark zone another player gets the item i also remember a guy asking whose seasonal item is this i just picked up something i don't know what it is someone lost a boomstick in the game and it was just crazy to see that anyways this exotic is really nice especially if you are trying to make a group dps build or some sort of a support group build the quote on the exotic says lived through this bullet i'll live through yours and that is a quote from the boss coyote which is the one that i believe will be the one to drop this exotic next season the intrinsic perk or the talent on it, it says that you and allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy that you hit. The bonus also varies from crit chance to crit damage, so it is one of those things where you may want to choose which weapon you like the most and build around that. So if you're using SMG or you like SMGs the most, you will be getting that critical damage. And if you're looking at ARs, you're going to be in the middle area. And if you're looking at snipers or anything longer than that, then you're going to be looking at the farthest benefits out there. So that is one of the really cool things about it. It really opens up the way for diversity in terms of weapon selection. And because of the distance, you can look at a specific weapon all the time and build around those things. It is definitely not uh, exotic that I will put on every single build, but it can also fit in almost any playstyle. When in a group, this perk is the most powerful damage perk out there because it is basically a heart of the pack buff. Please avoid the dark zone for now or risk losing some of your seasonal items. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.